here we are today. We're working on our little mini excavator here. It's developed a couple of hydraulic leaks over the past few months, and I'd like to get them sorted out. So we got our master technician here, Josh. He's gonna scrape this mud off the bottom plate cover. Give it a nice scrape. Yeah, it's, it's right it's, like this. Yeah, I wanna do it. I wanna do right it. Right there, straight down. And, and it's stinky, and it has hydraulic fluid in it. Yeah, it's stinky. Just one push down. All right, that was pretty good. All right, let's get under here and figure out where this leak is coming from. Do you want me to get the rest of the mud off? Because there's still a little bit. Oof. Oh, it's coming from there. Huh. I wonder if it's just a loose fitting. Is it coming from there, though? Oh, there's the ring gear. Oh, yeah, the pinion is a little bit worn. Probably wouldn't hurt to change that pinion. I don't see any obvious problems, and it looks like the fluid is coming from higher up so I guess I'll take some stuff apart on the top it's still dripping pretty steady no obvious leaks under the floor pan here just a lot of dirt so I guess we'll keep going take the seat off never done this before but how hard can it be well, I'm pretty confident the leak is not underneath. So I got this all ripped apart. I think the leak is down in here somewhere. Not sure. It's so dirty, I just can't see. So we're gonna get the old pressure washer out. Soaked everything with degreaser. And see how it goes. She's a whole bunch cleaner. Still a little bit dirty right down in there. Just about where I think the leak is. So I'm going to give her one more shot with some degreaser and pressure washer. And then probably let it dry overnight. And see what's wet in the morning. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we got her down off the blocks. Next day here, we figured out the leaks. Lost a lot of fluid overnight, but finally figured it out. So, the leaks, we're mostly at the rotary union here. So this top hydraulic fitting, one on the side, you can't really see. And then there was also a loose nut here on the swing motor. As an added bonus, we got the two speed working, which has never worked in this machine. So, good couple of days spent. Now to put it all back together, try it out. Thanks for watching.